next clip. But I just had to show you this awesome sunrise. I didn't want to mess up the light. Otherwise you wouldn't be able to see it very well. I'm on my way down to the beach today. I'm going for a surf. And I can't wait to get down there. Have a good day guys. Enjoy the video. G'day story lovers. I've gotten up nice and early today. I really wanted to come and show you this sunrise. Far out. We are so lucky to be able to see stuff like this. You gotta get up nice and early. No cartoons today. <laughs> well, I'm gonna read the story from the beach today. How awesome is this sunrise? Wow. I feel super lucky to be able to see stuff like this. And I love getting up early. It's pretty good for you, you know? Start the day with a bit of a routine. There's no point sleeping in all day. What are you going to do? Lay in bed? Miss out on half the day? <laughs> Not me. I'm an early bird. Today's story is Harry McCleary's Show Business by Lindley Dodd. In Riverside Hall on Cabbage Tree Road, the Cat Club were having their annual show. There were fat cats and thin cats, tabbies and greys kick up a din cats with their boisterous ways cooped up in cages they practice their wails while their owners fussed over their teeth and their tails out in the street tied to a tree Harry McClary was trying to see he struggled and squirmed he unraveled the knot and dragging his lead, he was off at the trot. He bounced up the steps, he pounced in the door, he pricked up his ears and pranced round the floor, flapping and flustering, bothering, blustering, leaving behind him a hiss and a roar. Stop! cried the president. Collar him, quick! But Harry McClary was slippery slick. He slid under tables. Zip. He jumped over chairs. Boing. He skittered through legs. And he sped down the stairs. In and out doorways, through banners and flags. Tangling together belongings and bags. Along came Miss Plum with a big silver cup. Got him, she said, and snaffled him up. Preening and purring, the prize winners sat with their rosettes and cups on the prize winner's mat. And who won the prize for the scruffiest cat? Harry McClary from Donaldson's Dairy. <laughs> if you're enjoying this sort of stuff, give us a thumbs up. Give that subscribe button a little tickle. And as we always say, smile more, frown less, and I wish you all the best. Catch you next time. <laughs>